Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Green Bandits YouTube channel. So today I'm going to talk about how you're going to make, how you can make your uh, electric e-bike, your pedal detecting electric e-bike, if you have the correct system. Into a, um, basically an electric scooter. Here it goes. So if you have uh, a, a pedal uh, detecting electric e-bike with the correct with this system then you will be able to modify it into an electric scooter so this system is basically behind your pedal so this is just your pedal here your normal bicycle pedal behind it here you should have uh, and oftentimes it's behind the gear, so here's your gear, okay? Behind this gear, so on this side, you wanna, uh, you will have, um, so this is an ugly gear, you'll have, if I flip this around, you will have the gear on this side, okay? And behind it you'll have a pizza kind of disc, with little magnets in it. Okay, what happens is these magnets um, go in front of a magnetic field variation detector, whatever it's called, and so basically this wheel is spinning like this around and around in front and little magnets are going by this detector. This detector is connected to your electronic speed controller and tells it to deliver power or not to the engine. So what happens is this system here is mounted on your pedal so that when you pedal it activates the motor and that will give you power to the front or back wheel. So the idea here is to move this detector and these magnets to somewhere where whether you're pedaling or not the magnets still spin and the solution I found is that if I move these magnets to my back wheel so this is the back wheel of the bicycle if I move them onto the um, and I attach them to the um, to the rim of the uh, bicycle. So here, 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 there, at regular intervals. I can then, so let's say you have one of these bike, bicycle rims with a lot of uh, these things, whatever they're called. Um, then you can basically attach the detector to the frame so generally your bike frame goes something like this and then up like this and here you have the pedals and the gear blah 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 and here's your bike seat and then it goes something like this I think and like this or uh, maybe not whatever but anyways you have this kind of thing where it's like this in the back and generally batteries are in the back here with this kind of model and in here oftentimes you have the electronic speed controller and this is your battery by the way so anyways what we're dealing with here is the cable that goes from your ESC down to your detector what you want to do is you want to move this cable back here and adjust it so that all these so this circle is right in front of that detector so you're moving the detector from here to here okay so basically if we look from the back of the bike you used to have your pedal with the disc with the magnets in it 
going in front of the detector. And now you're going to have your back wheel. Jeez, why is that moving? Your back wheel with the magnets on it. And here's your frame. Very simple frame. <laughs> here's your frame, and on this frame you will have the detector and then the cable running up. Okay, what this does is that when you start pedaling, the wheel starts moving, and therefore energy is delivered to the engine. If you brake, you will have the power delivery cutoff system, security system, and it will still work. So this does nothing to your security. All it changes is the fact that you don't have to pedal anymore in order for your engine to be powered. So this makes it very much easier to uh, ride these bikes, especially with bikes that don't have a lot of gears. And this allows you to just uh, stop pedaling when it's flat. And of course, you can and should assist your electric engine in uphills. But this really makes your life a lot easier and prevents you from having to pedal 24-7. Uh, I'll show you what it, how it looks on my bike. I've really just done this as a test uh, for the moment. I'm going to look for a more permanent solution, but this works pretty well. And I've had absolutely no problems. Tell me if you have any comments or suggestions later on. Alright, thanks for watching.